Welcome to Synovia's training video series. This video covers using student ridership with boarding cards to scan on version 2018.10 of our mobile data terminal, which is called an MDT for short, or sometimes a tablet. First, this video will show you how student ridership works with student ridership verification. There is a difference between the two. Student ridership is student tracking software that enables school administrators and parents to see when their students have scanned on and off the bus. Student ridership verification is an extra feature that enables drivers to see if the student entering or exiting the bus is at the right stop or should even be on their bus. This can help prevent situations in which the students get on the wrong bus, either in the morning or when they are leaving school, or exit the bus at the incorrect stop. To begin, make sure that student ridership verification is enabled on your MDT. To do so, tap the menu button from any screen. Tap Settings. If the slider to the right of ridership verification isn't selected, tap it to turn it on. If the slider looks like this, you already have student ridership verification enabled. Tap Back. If needed, log in and start your route. To find help with these, see the videos Logging In and Out and Using Route Service. When you stop at the first bus stop and students get on the bus, they will scan on with their barcode IDs or RFID cards or bus pass. If they are getting on at the correct stop, this Authorized Rider dialog box will appear. It will automatically close after two seconds. If you go to the home screen, you'll see that as each student scans on, the passenger's number is updated to indicate how many students are on the bus. Tap passengers to see the list of students who are currently on the bus. To return to the stops list, tap back, tap route, and then tap ridership. Proceed through your stops. Student scans that match each stop will bring up the authorized rider dialog box. If a student is boarding or exiting the bus at the wrong stop, the unplanned stop dialog box will appear. This is displayed if the student is supposed to be part of your route, but is not at their assigned stop. This dialog box needs to be manually dismissed. Before you do so, however, Handle the student's wrong stop in accordance with your school district's rules. When you are finished, tap Close to exit the dialog box. If a student scans on the bus who isn't supposed to be part of the route at all, the Unknown Rider dialog box will appear. This has options you could select, as dictated by your district. Tap Allow Rider to Board if you allow the student on the bus. One more passenger will be added to the student manifest. Tap Deny Boarding if you didn't permit them to board. You can tap Rider Lookup to query the database to see if it can find the student name and stop information for the time of day. If a student ID card is scanned twice at the same bus stop, after a configurable number of seconds, so that just a doubled scan by the same student isn't being flagged, the Duplicate Rider dialog box will appear. This has the same two first options as the Unknown Rider dialog box. Tap whichever one you need to according to your district's rules. When you reach the school stop, each student will scan their cards as they leave the bus. Each scan will bring up the Authorized Rider dialog box. After they've scanned off the bus, the passenger's number will be zero. If you have students scan on and off the bus but do not use student ridership verification, the dialog box on the screen is similar. To check this in Settings, tap the Menu button, then tap Settings. The slider to the right of ridership verification shouldn't be selected in this case. If it is, tap it to turn it off. Tap Back. To return to the stops list, tap Route, and then Ridership. When you stop at the first bus stop and students get on the bus, 
they will scan on with their cards. When they do, this Writer Scan dialog box will appear. Instead of showing the student's name, it will show only the ID number on the card. The dialog box will automatically close after two seconds. Without student ridership verification turned on, there is no checking for incorrect stops or unknown riders. On the home screen, Passenger still shows how many students are on the vehicle. When you tap Passengers, the student list shows only ID numbers and when the student boarded. When you reach the school stop, however, and the students scan off, their numbers will be removed from the passenger's onboard screen. After all students have scanned off, the passenger's icon will show zero. Using student ridership with navigation is almost exactly the same as what's shown earlier. The primary difference is that the dialog boxes will appear in the navigation user interface. When ridership verification is on, and you're in navigation, if a student scans on at the correct stop, the authorized rider dialog box will appear and automatically close after two seconds. If a student from your route boards or exit the bus at the wrong stop, the unplanned stop dialog box will appear, which needs to be manually dismissed after you handle the incorrect stop as needed. If a student scans on the bus who isn't assigned to your route, the unknown rider dialog box will appear. This has the options discussed earlier, allow rider to board, deny boarding, and rider lookup. The duplicate rider dialog box works the same under navigation as well. It appears if a student ID card is scanned a second time at the same bus stop, such as if a student scans on, hands the card out the window to a buddy, who forgot their ID and then expects to be able to use that card again. If your school district isn't using student ridership verification, this will be turned off. Each scan will produce the Rider Scan dialog box, which shows only the card's ID number. Again, there is no checking for incorrect stops or unknown riders without verification turned on. If you have any questions, please contact your fleet advisor project manager, or Synovia support by phone at 877-SYNOVIA, that's 796-6842, or by email at support at synoviasolutions.com.